and welcome back to Scott's Big Mouth Podcast. What a good idea that was, Dave. No one's ever going to see that first bit. We'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to Scott's Big Mouth Podcast. I've got no idea what episode it is. I think it's eight, eight, seven. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I do it, podcasts and I've got all mine mixed up as well. It was think of an, it was like Johnny Ball, think of a number. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know. Irrelevant. It's irrelevant in the great scheme of things, the number. But the, the subject of today's um, Big Mouth podcast, Dave, is something that we've actually spoke about in the past a few in the times. Past. Yeah. Um, and it's the, it's come up in conversation with, uh, uh, on YouTube over the last couple of days. I'm going to respectfully keep his name out of it. Um, but it's the subject of buying and paying for growth Sex. on social media. Set. <laughs> Go for a growth on a social media platform. Yes. You carry on. It's your right. I'll, I'll, you, oh, we're on a roll. I just said sex. <laughs> um yeah so it, it, buying and paying for for subscribers for views for clicks for likes whatever you're paying for um whether it's on youtube whether it's on instagram i don't know if you could do it on tiktok i'm not on tiktok um so i don't know um but anywhere where you can monetize content really dave yeah um yeah i mean we like you said we've spoke about this before haven't we um yeah where people um buy views and subs in fact we actually thought about setting up a channel didn't we we did and i was i was going to fund to buy a load of views and stuff but in the end i thought oh, fuck it i'm not giving the enemy even more money so well we, it was it was one of those things that it was we looked at it and it's something we as you said we considered probably two or three times we we've discussed this over here as a not as a um what's the word i'm looking for uh, um oh, my brain's gone you know me i've got a bit of a, a brain lapse today experiment is the word i'm after yeah it was more of an investigation weren't it a bit like roger cook yeah well we were going to set it up weren't we investigate it document it and then we were actually going to put it out on youtube weren't we and say look this is actually how um being a fraud works yeah um, so for people that don't know um to monetize your chat let, let's talk about um let's talk about primarily youtube here dave because there's, that's what we do in broad spectrum of the channel sizes yeah. people know us small. through yeah people yeah. know us um, through youtube yeah so to, to monetize your channel on youtube you have to have a thousand subscribers uh, at least this is what it used to be. I don't know if it still is. Thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours per year to be able to monetize your uh, your your, uh, your channel. Yes. Um, and then after that, you get adverts in your your um, videos. You can do memberships if if, if you so wish, super chats, etc., etc., etc. That's where people make their money via YouTube. Yeah. Are you building um, up to something? <laughs> no, it was just, just that was that yeah. was it's just the, the it's the people that don't know how YouTube works, that's how it works. And the more the more views you get, the more ad obviously the more adverts go into your thing and the more money you get from your content. Yeah, and YouTube basically, once they realise that you're starting to become popular, they then push you forward, don't they? They make you go at the top of the list for people who are watching things. If you it's it, what did I say on Instagram yesterday? I saw some fat bird on Instagram and I watched it. And anyway, what happened then was on Instagram, I was getting lots of fat women dancing because right. they click it, they realize what you know, this AI or whatever it is realizes that you've looked at that and you think, oh, you might like fat birds dancing, so I'll put some more on. Yeah. I don't like fat birds dancing. I just no. I just like what the fuck's this? Yeah. So, and that's what it is, isn't it? On YouTube, they'll push you forward. And when they realize that you're making something that somebody watches, my first McDonald's video, mm -hmm. which helped me grow, um, then they realize, think, all right, perhaps other people would like more of Dave 
being a twat in his van. And that's how yeah. it works. It's, it's, you know, it's fucking shit, really, isn't it, how it works? So, so, yeah, so exactly that. So you, you, the more people watch, the more YouTube's algorithm pushes you out to more people. Exactly, um, yeah. and, then, and then obviously people subscribe and the views go up and the money goes subscribe. up. Subscribe, so like <laughs> and subscribe, push the like mm. button. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so I've been going for five years and have a oh, fucking name. Hang on, bear with, <laughs> got no idea. Oh, I've probably deleted it. 4,600 and 94. <laughs> Don't forget the 94. They're very important people. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've, I've got 4,694 subscribers. You've been going longer than I have, mate. Yeah, but only a year. I've been going since 2017. Uh, I think I've got 151. It's the, I'm losing subscribers at the moment. I'm losing yeah. them all the you while. Don't mind that, dear. Don't mind that, dear. <laughs> no. I think I'm on something like 150,902 or something. It's but I'm not. I'm not particularly bothered. Um, I find it quite funny that I'm losing subscribers because I keep getting people coming on now and telling me, telling me what I should be doing. But none of mm -hmm. them have recommended using a click click farm, Chinese click farm. Yeah, and that's where we. That's where we're getting to. So the 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 word, and I genuinely, and this is absolute, and I don't think you did either when I text you about this or I WhatsApp you. Sorry. Um, I had no idea uh, Chinese click farm, Chinese view farms, uh, cell phone bot farms, whatever you want to call them. I had no idea these things existed. No, I didn't know. No, I didn't know until you sent me a message the other day saying that you'd seen um, a YouTuber talking about this. Hmm. Um, I, I knew you could buy views. I knew you could buy subs because I've seen it on the internet. If you look at it, you can find it. If you want to risk giving your bank details to something like that, then fair enough. Yeah. But I didn't realize they were doing it in China, which is pretty naive of me because I don't particularly believe anything at the moment. And But it, they're there, isn't they? They're apps, the little <laughs> rice munchers are there pressing fucking... So the back, the back, the background to it was I was I was sat at home and I got a, I got a text message. I'm not going to tell you who the text message was from, um, saying that he, they'd searched for the McDonald's hat trick burger on YouTube, and their video and my video wasn't was no longer um, in the the search part of the YouTube algorithm, and and I just, I think I just put back. Oh, a conspiracy, because I, I generally had no idea what was being said to me. And um, they came back with, it's all about Chinese click farms and it being said that other ch other channels had grown exponentially very quickly. And was it because of these click farms? And, and then that takes you down a road of what the fuck is a Chinese click farm? You do, yeah. Uh, you do. Well, you told yeah. me, didn't you? And I thought, what yeah. the fuck's that, then? Yeah, and it's literally, as it says, there's rows, there's like factories of rows upon rows of mobile phones, and you pay whatever the amount is. I've got no idea because I've never really properly investigated this, but you pay a sum of money, and literally the guy or the lady or whatever it is goes along, goes, watches the video, ding, 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 all the way along the bloody, the, the row, um, adding up your views very, very quickly. Yeah. Well, the thing is, mate, I, when, so obviously, on, Ch on China, on um, your YouTube studio, yeah, you can click on a video, can't you? Yeah. And then it will tell you, uh, is it the analytics of it? Or yep. whatever. So anyway, yep. it'll say where it's been looked at. Yeah. Uh, the watch the most. Yep. So eighty six percent. I had a quick look through this morning while I'm having a dump, and around eighty six to ninety percent of my videos are all British. Yeah. Um. Well, not all of them because I've not looked through every bloody one. 
Well, a majority of them are all 86% in Britain. Yeah? yeah. Around that. And then I've got Ireland. And then I've got Europe. Then I've got America. And then yeah. I've got German. I've got a few Germans. I've got the old froggies. They do it and all. But anyway, yeah. so I haven't got one from China. Not fucking no. one. No. Now, surely, this is fraud. You're making yeah. out that your channel is better than what it is. Yeah. Why aren't YouTube doing something about this? Why aren't YouTube coming down and saying, right, well, hold on. You're not organic. You're not true. Yeah. So why aren't YouTube thinking, hold on. Now, there's a bloke here, and he lives in Devon. And yep. yet, seventy percent of his views are from China. Why? Why aren't YouTube doing that? Well, it's a good point because it's against YouTube's policies. YouTube it's haven't against... got any policies. The only policies they have got when it suits them. Correct, but it is, it is, a, it is one of their policies. Uh, um, buying for uh, views and subs is against one of their. In inverted commas, policies. So, yeah. but do they actually care? Because if it's generating oh. ad revenue, are they actually gonna, are they actually going to care about it? No, they're not. Yeah, if if I said something of some kind of controversy, I would get a strike. Yeah, it's double standards. It's yeah, you know, and no doubt. Now the thing is. There is no doubt that there is some doubt there that will be saying you shouldn't be paid on YouTube. Fair yeah. enough. That's an opinion. Good enough. But YouTube's, oh, it's not hard work, is it, really, mate? But it does cost a bit of money, don't it? To do, to bring, to bring the entertainment that people sit and watch. They say it cost for me to get in my van and drive yep. to McDonald's and buy yep. the McDonald's and come back and use my electricity and use the phone that I've got and everything like that. It costs money, don't it? So, mm -hmm. what is the harm in me making some money back? But it's when people are buying views, you're not only mm -hmm. paying for your fuel, your burger, get there, and all that, you're paying for somebody to fucking do it. So, it's fake. Yeah, depending on obviously depending on what content you you produce, you're absolutely right. So you being a predominant, I know you do slightly different things these days, but predominantly a food reviewer in the past, it costs money. Now people people say, well, you choose to do that, and that's absolutely right. That's that's a that's a very fair comment. You choose to get in your van, go and buy. The McDonald's hat trick burger at six pound, whatever it was, for for the burger. You've made that decision. You've also then made that decision to turn the camera on and record your views on that. So I, I, I is it a decision get... or is it a risk? What turning the camera on? Yeah, is it a risk or a decision? I think I think I think I think it can be a risk because you're putting yeah. yourself out there as well. You know, you're putting yourself out there for criticism, and let's be honest, we've we've both had our our share of criticism over the time, which which I'm broad enough shoulder to take. I don't really care, um, but I, I I get the argument of well, you choose to do that, okay? But then I choose to do that. My channel's grown to a to a, a level where I can make some of that money back. So it. it me and, me and you, although your channel's much bigger than mine will ever be, we're in this, we're at the same level of we do this for fun. Mm, yeah. Well, this is, you see, my views have dropped off yeah. because of the way I've taken my channel. I've gone more political. Uh, I'm doing less food reviews. I'm doing less videos altogether. Yeah. Uh, and YouTube aren't pushing me as much. Um, yeah. Basically, I've had my day. I've had I've had I've had my day on YouTube. I just do this now for what I set out for it. But if they want, if these people who are buying these views and subs, 
want it that badly, they've got to pay for it. Then what else are they fucking buying that they want to pay that they need that badly? It's just it fucking amazes me how someone if you can't make money on your own talent, yeah. Because let's face it, there's some out there, and this kind of coke has got more charisma and yeah personality. There's some people yeah. out there that are reviewing food and drink yeah. and yeah. stuff. Because they're yeah. just that I, fucking boring. It's untrue. I, I completely agree. Some of the channels that I've seen come, stay, and go. I'm not saying that I've got the best personality in the world. Far from it. I, 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 I like to think I can carry a video. Um, but some of them, it baffles the shit out of me, mate. It really does. And that's, 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 them, I'm, yeah. I'm not... I'm not trying to be critical. I'm not trying to be nasty. It's just I don't get how they think they're going to carry a video. I don't. It just it, it yeah. astonishes me. I mean, well, to, well, rate my takeaway, right? People say, yeah. "Oh, I'm jealous of him." I'm not jealous of him, but he has got something about him. Yes, where people will watch him. Yeah, he's got that cheeky northern Peter K kind of thing. So I can actually understand. And he has got a sense of humour as well. So, fair play. I can't remember. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Dan Danny. Danny. Danny boy. So, yeah, I can actually understand how Danny took off. Yep. I don't know if he has used it. I, I, to be honest, I don't think Danny has. I think Danny's I just think pure, raw, northern entertainment. Uh, but... I, I, yeah, so fair play to Danny. Fair play to him for doing that. But others, I'm, I just don't fucking get it. I'm gonna again. I'm I'm, I'm gonna try and be as um, uh, polite as I can be. I'm, I'm gonna respectfully, like some cockwipe says, keep names out of the this. Um, but. I was watching something on Thursday night, which I sent to you, where a channel got very annoyed about all this. And I can understand why he, mm. they got annoyed about it, because obviously they've been doing it for a long time. They see channels come along and sort of, if it's your business and it's your job, I can understand if you, if you have put the time and effort into this and you see someone come along, and let's be honest, they're cheating. So they're cheating. Yeah. Okay. So if you see someone come along and cheat, well, you've put your your life into this. It must be hard to sit and watch, especially if you if it's well, it bringing yeah. if, if if it's bringing money to your and it's putting food on your kids' table, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm, I'm me and you in the same boat. It's pocket money, you know. It's this is my hobby. It's never going to be my, my job, yeah. but I can understand if if it's your job and you see somebody that you believe is cheating, I can understand why you get irate yeah. about well, it. Well, this this is the other thing I wanted to say. It's like I got when I was on around two thousand subs. Brian, obviously, yep. True Geordie and Lawrence um, put me on True News and the Five Guys bit. Where I'm going, I'm sweating like a fat pig. Yeah. So I went to bed on two and a half. Yeah. I went to bed on two and a half thousand subs, and I woke up in the morning and I'm on something like nine thousand subs. Now, that some people say might that's might say that's unfair, but that is because a bigger YouTuber has found me. I mean, and put me out there. Then the following week, it grew again. Now that well, that's not cheating, how, though, Dave, is it? That's not cheating that, because then the I day, never asked someone, Ryan. Yeah, right. I never asked Brian to put me out there. They never actually got in touch with me and um, said, can we do this, Dave? Or can we basically take the piss out of you, Dave? And then it all backfired on them. And then all of a sudden, I'm, the next <laughs> thing I know. The th I can remember being on the kickoff once and Brian says, uh, he says, he says something about we make people or something like that. And in a way, it was right because he mm -hmm. did actually, he made me or helped me be who I am on YouTube. And the, it's 
it, it, it's just how it is, isn't it? It's just that I got that little bit of a push. I didn't need to go and buy. I wouldn't buy fucking. I wouldn't use a Chinese clip farm anyway. I just, it's just fucking wrong. So, I, I must, I don't, I must get at least five emails a week um, from people offering to help with my SEO enhancement. So the search engine optimization, um, views, subs, um, along with the, the the Nigerian prince who wants to deposit twenty seven million pound in my account overnight. Um, so I, I must get at least five emails a week. Uh, yeah, offering that service, and it gets deleted immediately after I've laughed at it. Uh, yeah. So, but it makes you wonder how many people actually take that up, actually take it up. Yeah, um, it does. Because the desperate, the, if you're that desperate to make it on YouTube that you've got to pay some Chinese bloke who will be paying his staff next to nothing to do yeah. this so he can make the money, then you're basically enhancing slave labor. Yep. And you are part of the problem of the world today. It's you're just a fucking fraud and this isn't sour grapes because my channel's flatlined or anything like that i'm perfectly happy with how my channel is now i'm more freer to do and say what i fucking want i don't care if i upset anybody i don't play the youtube game where you've got to say the correct thing the right thing you don't you know so i think but it, 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 it's not so it's yeah i think you're right it's not sour great it's a, it's a discussion though that we'll say we've talked about a few times on this and obviously where this has come up in conversation uh privately and i've, I've asked the guy if we could talk about this and they were very generous they said yes but they just didn't want their name in it and that's absolutely fine i've got no problem with that um but it is an interesting subject i, I think it's um it annoys me because then they people obviously if you just set talking to a screen and to your phone you know what people watch in in varying um sort of quantities that's absolutely fine if you're reviewing things people as you say you're buying stuff um my my channel's never been it's never going to make me a millionaire but i'm very lucky that I've, 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 it's been monetized so i draw a little bit of money back people criticizing um youtubers that uh, monetize a channel i think they're fucking idiots anyway um because you you make money wherever you can in life some people of course inherit you money. some people inherit money some people uh make money from you laughing at um, no, no, no. um people, other people haven't worked for years and sort of still have a load of money um mm. so you know it, people have to be able to earn money how they can and if there's if there's if there's a a facility within youtube why why not it's only part time it's like doing a paper round. it's like delivering pizzas it's like delivering fucking fast food of anything and it? it's just a part-time job the only difference is you don't have to do it at fucking eight o'clock at night when you're supposed to be at home with your family but during also, youtube what? yeah go on no, no go on me well i was going to say like during youtube in my day without buying views i was earning like three thousand pound a month in my fucking prime yeah, playing the game and not being offensive and not being myself, you know. And I've got a few deals as well, brand deals. And also during that time, I was being offered jobs on Channel Four. You know that mm -hmm. Steph's pack lunch. Yeah. Well, she wanted me and Chris. I you know, that. we made uh, the pod, pod, podcast, the podcast with Chris and Ada. Mm -hmm. Well, she they wanted me and Chris to go up there, but they weren't prepared to pay us to do that. They weren't prepared to pay us to go on Channel Four. I got offered, did you ever see that Perry Grayson? Is it Grayson Perry or Grayson, what's his name? The cross-dressing bloke who, anyway, he did something on Channel 4 where um, he drove around in a van or a bloke drove around in a van. Yeah, you you did. You told me about that. I do remember yeah, you saying about that. that. I, I was the original for that, but that was basically going away all summer. Yeah. And I, I couldn't do it. And then there were also these, there were, I was offered something on Channel 4 when they did like a Big Brother thing in a, in containers and you had to try and lie about who you were oh fuck to find out and i weren't having none of that yeah but that <laughs> i got them offers of work 
through my personality and who I am, not because yes. I'm buying fucking. Yeah. Because let's face it, if a if a company like Channel Four said, "Oh, let's have a look, see if we've got an idea for a program, let's have a look, see who we can find to go on it," and if they went right, oh look at him, wow, look at his channel taking off, yeah, let's watch him, and they'd be going, "What the fuck's he got about him? Why has mm. he got so many fucking views?" Mm. That's it, isn't it? Where well, they obviously see me and thought, "Look at this fat bastard." Let's get him in the band with Grace and Perry. And what happened? What, well, the, the thing that always, obviously, then what happens when you stop paying? <laughs> Do you view? Oh, this is it. Well, you know all these likes. Yep. Bloody fly in the house. All these likes. Do they? You stop paying. Say, do they go right? Let's take all them likes back. Yes, they go back up the wall. <laughs> yeah, back up the wall. So, the likes yeah. <laughs> so you know what? I would rather have the talent or the ability to make people laugh to make the money than have to sit, put my details in, and have the potential of having my bank account emptied. I think it's, it's uh, I'm assuming that the the um, the mental process is is the reward worth the risk? So you're mm. risking. Um, a, you're risking your card, your card details, and losing every penny you've got in your account. You're, you're risking losing your channel. You're risking a certain amount of money per month to give you views that hopefully are going to make that money back and some. So, are, are those risks worth the reward? I don't think well, I, I, I personally don't think so. The trouble of well, the trouble is people want that. I've got one Leah made. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And it, 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 and it, whether whether you like it or not, if you're putting something on YouTube as a video, you want people to watch. Yeah. Yeah, you do. From, you, don't, you, from, you, you can say you don't want to, but you do because you want your opinion heard, don't you? Yeah, so it, and the pe people that say they don't want people to watch, they're liars. Yeah, because why would you make a video if you don't want anybody to watch it? Exactly, I said to um, him. Yeah, it is, and it's like, but what? So again, what what happens? Is that risk worth the reward that comes? I don't know. You sent me um, a text with uh, the best, the seven best sites to buy YouTube view. I didn't even know these things existed either. Well, so I you've got. The day. When you when we started talking about this after you'd watched um, the person who wishes no name to be mentioned, um, <laughs> but um, I had a quick look and I, and I found that one. But I've looked in the past because I was you know when we've spoke about this in the past and I was curious about well what is it how do you do it and this is when we were talking about setting up a channel and seeing if we could make it grow. Yeah, but, you know. And um, yeah, so yeah, and then I found that one the other day. That one seems to be a newer site than. So you got? The, well, I'm going to read them out. I don't care. So, uh, apparently, there's one called Bol Bolcoid. One's called Fast Promo. You got Viral HQ, YT. Some I can't even read me. I'm writing on that one. Socials Explode, Share Boosts, and YT Frame. These are all um, websites. You, now I knew you could buy these things but the, the chinese click farm thing i'd never come i never heard no. anything about that that was a a new one on me so and if if that's actually what's going on and some people are using that then i'm fucking staggered absolutely well, staggered it's like um it's like man city isn't it allegedly allegedly you know with, with 115 all those... of their 115 charges or whatever they've got. Yeah. So it's a little bit like that, isn't it? It's it, it's just it's cheating, isn't it? I mean, you know, cheating. if Man City are found guilty on Hall 115, like Donald Trump was found guilty on all 34, well, fuck it now, um, charges, then you know they need to be sorted out, don't they? Yeah. But 
and this needs to happen here in YouTube because people are probably saying that, oh, fucking BBM's got bloody sour grapes and his channel's dead. And he, I'm not bothered. I'm not, I honest, and you know, I'm not bothered, don't you, Scott? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Someone put them, so I deleted the comment because I was going to go to town on. So I, I think I sent it to you. So, uh, you, your channel, you've been going for five years and you've only got 4,000 subs. I'm like, you fucking care, mate. Who are you fucking on yeah. about? These people think that I'm desperate for my channel to be... I don't care. I do I do my channel for fun. You know yeah. what? And do I, do I want people to watch? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice when people watch. It's nice when people yeah. leave a comment. Um, But I don't live my life thinking, oh, I hope 100,000 people watch this one. Yeah. You know, it, it's... Uh, it... It just amazes me how people do actually think that. That's like saying, well, I've been playing football for 15 years of my life and I've never won a fucking trophy in local football. Why do you carry on playing? Because I fucking enjoy playing football. Yes. Yeah. Football. Is it? I am. But I this... know. I know one channel. I'm not going to name them. And it's not a channel that you would think I'm talking about. I know I could bet a large sum of money. I know one channel that bought a 500 sub package yeah um to get them over a thousand subs so they can monetize their channel and i know that because i was keeping an eye on their social blade and it was going up by 20 a day 20 a day 20 a day 20 a day till it got to 500 and it hasn't grown nearly as much since when it hit 500 so i know one channel that did yeah. i could i could I could put a, a pretty good bet on that, and that that sort of thing annoys me because that's cheating. Well, it's all cheating. I mean, and like I say, people will say, "Oh, BVM's fucking jealous," blah blah blah, fucking. The, I'm, and I'm not jealous. But what this video is about, this video is about defending the smaller channel. Correct. This is defending the people like Ben Garber, who's yeah. trying to make his fucking channel work and grow i don't think ben wants to be the next joe rogan or anything like that but he puts a lot of time a lot of effort into doing a video and a podcast and he deserves some recognition and this is what this little podcast that we're making today is about we're defending the fucking smaller channel you know well, let's face it we're, we're defending people like chris the butcher aren't we because when all said and done We've had our differences and stuff now, but Chris has been doing it for fucking years. Yeah. And he's still on, I don't, I don't know how many, is he, what's he on, 11,000 subs? He could be on 11, he could be on 15,000 for all I fucking care. But we're defending people like Chris. Yep. Let's have a look. I don't, I don't know the answer to that, so I'll have a quick look, because I agree. The people that have put their time, effort into... Twelve thousand nine hundred is almost at thirteen thousand. Uh, Chris, if that'll you be, watch this, that'll be all right. Keeping, then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, hope you hope you're keeping very well, Chris. Um, no animosity, my way, mate. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really good point. Looking out for the little guy. The yes. What? And there's nothing. There's nothing. But, but the, on the other side of that, there's nothing wrong with shouting. A channel out and giving them a little boost. Well, no, I've, I mean, done I've, I've done yeah, it. I've done it. You've done. You've done it for me. Um, well, look how I helped Ben Books, didn't I once? You know, yeah. I put I put Ben's channel out, and I think I mean, all right, he grew about five hundred subs or something. It was massive for him. Yeah. So, you know, I I I would rather have a channel grow through word of mouth. Than Chinese fingering. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, and to be fair, that's what the um the north, south, east, west fucking um joint reviews was all about. There was no money was. ever changed. There was no money. And Simon, hello, mate. Hope you're keeping well as well. Um, very good terms with Simon these days. Me, me. Yeah. Um, so very, very, well, happy, well, very, well, very, yeah, very happy with that. Um, I don't know, he got a bit of a bee in his bonnet about the pyramid and all that, but genuinely, that was you trying to help other people out, yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, it weren't really, weren't it? I was trying to help others out, yeah, yeah, um, free of charge, 
It is what it is, isn't it? I, I, like I said, I was very fortunate to be in the position I was with my YouTube channel growing so fucking quick, yeah. organically, yeah, not fake and fraudly. And um, I just tried to help others out, and you know that's what it were. But no, I, I just honestly, honestly don't understand how people can. Can you lower the can stuff. you un can you understand channels getting rid like like. The person that that messaged me, um, yeah. Can you understand them getting a, a really pissed off about it? Oh, definite, fucking too right. And YouTube should actually pull the finger out of their ass and fucking do something about it, but yeah. they won't because it's 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 about making them money. That it is. It's, re it's revenue. It's a revenue earner for them. The more, if even if someone's cheating and gets. I don't know, 50, 60,000 views on a fucking, I don't know, on a, a kebab. Yeah. For instance, they're not going to say, well, oh, those fucking views have come from China. Can't have that. No. They, no. they ain't going to give a shit because the revenue that that's going to generate for YouTube and Google. Yeah. Of course it is because I suppose you've got to click on it. You've got to watch it for so long. You've got to watch all the ads. Mm -hmm. And YouTube ain't bothered, are they? Nope. YouTube ain't bothered who's watched it. It's nope. just they can just go to their their companies and their advertisers and say, "Oh, look, this video's what been watched so many times, so you can best put your video there." And which is again um, thinking about it, if you go real think thinking deep about it, it's a lie to the fucking um, people who are doing the advertising, the companies that are paying for the advertising, because they're saying, "Oh, look, this video's this channel's got in an average of sixty thousand views a video." If you put your advert on here, you know, your fucking dog food that's made in, I don't know, London, and it's not going to be seen by the right people. You want a video that's going to be seen by that catchment area, but they're going to suppose, do they put Chinese adverts in China? But they're, they're going to, if, you, if you're just clicking buttons and walking down the road, you're not watching the adverts, are you? So what is no. the point? The line to the people who are paying their wages is it, is it also? I'm just, just thinking while you were talking. Is this a um, is it a byproduct of the society we now live in, and the and the and the um, the people and the what how we've evolved is? You tell your kids when they grow up. To work hard, go to school, work hard, get a job, etc., etc., etc. Right, and now don't cheat in your exams, and now you got people cheating to make to make to make themselves and their life better. So you're now well, disregarding everything that you've ever stood for. Well, I, I've I've actually I've. As you as you probably know, I've been thinking about the way the world is and the politics and stuff. And we were told at school to work hard, get a job, do this, do that, get a pension. And you right, you go to work, you work hard, you're just a cog in the wheel. At the end of yeah. your life, you get a piss poor pension. There is no future for you. The NHS is balls up. There is no medical care. You have to wait months and months to see a doctor, never mind get the treatment. So is this the way that people should be, really? Should they cheat? Should they be a fraud? Should they fucking do what they like? Because I've said this before, nobody else will look after you apart from yourself. So are these people who are doing these fucking click farms, is it the right thing to do? Is life the best thing to do and cheat? So I, I, I don't honestly know, mate. But I, I, I it's, an interesting, it's an interesting it's an interesting thought, isn't it? Because we've we've gone through every reason why you shouldn't, why mm. you shouldn't do this. It's cheating, fucking etc. etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But as you said, why not? I I've been saying just lately, right? You know, you know when you get a a load of gypsies turn up on some land and they do all this and they do all that. People go, oh, fucking gypsies, bloody... Uh. I've started to think that the gypsies have got the right style of life because they get what they can, they don't pay into the system, and they just live a life. And 
and this is it. This is they don't cheat; they just live. Who's the bigger so, fool? But, yeah, who's the bigger fool? Who's the bigger fool? People are trying to pay a mortgage. Who, you know, trying to put food over the uh, food on the table. Who's you know, tell the kids to do this, do do the right thing, be this, be that. And I'm not saying that the gypsies aren't doing the right thing. Yeah. I'm just saying the gypsies have got a completely different outlook on life and fair play to them now. Where, where, does, the the, where, does, yeah, where does living within the system actually get you? I think you'll find. Right. I've not looked at the comments on any channel yet who we think are using this. Yeah. I've not read them. But no. do the comment. I get comments on my video. Shit spelling, shit grammar, swearing at me, everything. I would hazard a guess if you read the comments on these fucking videos, the grammar, the spelling, the punctuation is all perfect. And I bet it's all complimentary comments like, oh, you're fucking great. You're, great. you're best food reviewer there. I yeah. love it. Can't wait for the next video. I would hazard yeah. a guess it's that. Yeah. So yeah, every, yeah. even the comments are probably fake. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I get um, the random death threat. I like quite a lot then. Um, they're all yeah. funny. Um, the, the, you, I got told I got a fucking big red nose the other day. I thought, well, I can't. At least, as you said, at least I saved some money on fucking red nose day. Um, yeah. I got told, I get told all of this. Like, I, I like, I like that. But yeah, yeah I like the, it. Uh, toxic positivity. Yeah. It is, because if you're doing that, then you're doing something right. Yeah. But I don't know about the comments on this, these channels that um, are buying views. I, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't live. I mean, look at it this way. In my height, and I know I go on about my, my, my days as a YouTuber. The glory days, mate. The glory days. The, the glory, glory days. days. Yeah, the glory days. And I could walk down streets and people would say, Blue Van Man, can we have a photo with you? And anyway, I was in a shop the other day and this lad says, Dave. I went, yes, mate. He says, can I have a photo? I says, fucking hell, mate. He says, you're the first one to ask me for months. He says, of course you can. So, no, you can't. No, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Um, fuck off. So how many times has somebody actually stopped this channel and ask for a photo or recognize them. Yeah. Because to have as many views as that, people have, I would hazard a guess if people seen Danny break my takeaway in the street, a lot of people would want a photo with him because he is rather popular and everything like that. Anybody, oh, anybody well, else? Through, through other, other channels, probably, yeah, it wouldn't be noticed. I mean, we, we get, I get noticed a couple of times. I always find it very bizarre. It's a very <laughs> um, unusual situation to find yourself in, especially because, obviously, like you, it's not my job. You know, I'm, it's like so when you're out saying, oh, Scott and Wandy, like, fucking, they're going to fucking come on in. <laughs> What's happening here? Like, so, yeah, yeah it's, um, I agree. It's, it's, it's a very strange thing. Yeah. And to have a channel that's built on your own skills or your own ability to do this is quite a successful thing. You know, even if you've only got like, you know, the 4,600, you, 4,700. 4,700, shall we say. Um, <laughs> it's quite a thing. And I would rather have 4,700 subscribers and be true to myself yeah. than have. You see that thing up there? That means yeah. ask me three lines. There he is. That thing there means something, really. Yeah. It's an achievement. Yeah. And it's not been paid for. It's not been bought. Uh, it's not been bought. No. That's apart from Brian. I mean, don't get me wrong. This Jack mate, he's put me through as well. Yeah. Robbie Knox, he's put me through. I had my yeah. photo took with Varde. I've been on the kickoff. You know, but I have had to have something that got me in that situation and got me yeah. in the position where I was on them other people's channels. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? So, so yeah, so, so there's summing up, I think, Dave. Chinese click farms, they're the future. 
the future. Do you want your channel to be massive and your credit card details over to fucking uh, the, the Chinese and you have some little boy or some little girl running up and down the line clicking your videos? Or some little non-gender thing. They'll yeah, apologise. Yeah. Pride will yeah. take this month. Whee! Fucking rainbows all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I think it's a, it, mate. It's a fascinate. It fascinates me because, and then for you to say, well, is it actually wrong because the country doesn't yeah. look after you? Well, this is it. You see, this is what this is what you're supposed something? to do. You're you're supposed to say right now. We're, this is how people think. You're supposed to say it's wrong. It's fucking wrong. It shouldn't be allowed. And then when you look at it, you think, well, is it wrong? Because We've got a house of we've got a house of parliament where ninety seven percent of the MPs have been lying. Yeah. So, is it wrong? You've got the football Premier League where there is a club that has Leicester. allegedly been lying. Le Leicester. <laughs> well, Leicester. Yeah, but Leicester. I think Leicester's appealing against it. I can't remember. Well, they'll get. They'll get. They'll get a six to twelve point deduction, won't they? So it's. I think it, they'll end up with something like. I think they'll get nine points, but yeah. everywhere you go in life, it's a cheat, it's a fake. And do we just join in? And I'm too tight to join in. I'm too tight to join in, Dave. I've got the money. To, I don't know how much it costs, but I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap. Well, yeah. I'm too cheap. It is. It's there, isn't it, mate? And I honestly don't know. I don't. Mate, it's a it's a fascinating conversation because I've I've come into it and I know the guy is very passionate about this. Um uh, he, he respectfully won't name and I understand why he gets upset and I came into You're this awesome. um really really against it and I still am against it. I, I think it is cheating, but you can see as you laid out. You can see why people do it. It's about personal respect, isn't it? It's about yourself, pride and stuff. Could mm -hmm. you do it? I couldn't. No. I couldn't fucking do it. I couldn't if live I with can't myself. Do it, yeah, if I can't make my channel what it is on my own, then it isn't worth it, is it? No. Granted, you get picked up. You get pushed on things. My fucking... Uh, bloody lovely thing that I mm -hmm. said, and people mm -hmm. have used it and used it. I've been on KSI's channel when I said about my nan's dead. Mm -hmm. That don't matter. So I've had help, but I've had to say that kind of thing, and I've had to do that kind of thing to be noticed. So yeah. I don't consider that the same as buying views. Your your channel grew through personality. Have I got by it? Not via money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how it is. And that's how it should be. So. But I'm really in, interest, interested in people's thoughts. Leave the comments in the box about it because it is, I think it's fascinating. I really do. The more I've thought about this, this conversation that we were going to have about this, the more A, it's hooked to me. But then obviously, mm -hmm. having spoken to you today about why people do it, you can understand why people do it. Is it for me? No. But. And I can also see why people get really fucking arse arsey about it as well. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not for me. I wouldn't do it. it no. it's, there was something on uh, Facebook the other week where this bloke, where you could actually buy a driving license, you could buy a driving license, and he was saying, "Oh, skip all the all this, skip all that. I can do you a driving license." So, what you you anybody with? Any fucking common sense, the smallest amount of common sense, wouldn't buy a driving license so you could just be let loose on the fucking roads, right? No. And it is, I'm not saying it is, but I'm just comparing it to that. It's cheating. Yeah. It's drug taking in sports. It's a man via a woman in a swimming cost uh, competition. Yeah. It's cheating. It's not true. And if that, if it means that much to you, I mean, probably we might get some stick for this video. Um, but I don't fucking care. I'd rather be making a channel and videos. As you said earlier, sticking up for the little man. 
Yeah, we are. We are sticking up for the little man. We're sticking up and for I the little myself, man. I count, I count myself yeah. in that. You know, I'm one yeah. of the little men. Yeah, it, it, it's... We are just sticking up for them, and, it, and that's the way it is. It shouldn't be... You shouldn't be able to cheat the system. What people yeah. do. In but all walks of life. Yeah, very interested, Dave. I'm gonna, let's cut it there. I'm going to go and have some water. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I've got one. Do some Absolutely gardening. Fascinating. Really interesting what, on people's thoughts on this. It's going to go out as a podcast on wherever you get your podcasts from. It'll be on YouTube as well. So really interested in what are your views on people buying subs, paying for channel growth, YouTube monetization in general. Do you are you are you for it? Are you against it? Um, really interested in your thoughts. Yeah, I would be as well. And if you don't agree with us, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> And that's the end of whatever episode it is of Scott's Big Mouth. And uh, Dave, thank you ever so much for your time. Really appreciate it. That's all right, mate. No and worries. Uh, I enjoy these little chats we do. It, they're quite good, aren't they? We, um... Yeah, yeah it's where we chat most days. It's just an extension of that bollocks, isn't it, really? That goes on with the, the ends. So I don't know when the next episode will be. Um, loads of ideas. I just can't be asked. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How long till so, the Euros, yeah. mate? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And get the Euros, the Euros next next Sunday. I think it's next Sunday, Father's yeah. Day. Yeah, it's not this. Or was it this was Sunday after? Sunday after. <laughs> two weeks today. Two weeks today. Yeah, two All weeks right. today. Six, June the sixteenth. Um, me and Dave watching the Euros, England against whoever the fucking ever playing. I've got no idea. We'll see you then. Yeah. See you then. Bye bye. See ya. Oh, fuck's sake.